a species born from stardust, shaped by chaos, yet driven by relentless curiosity, stands on a fragile blue planet, gazing upward. For centuries, Mars wasn't just another world. It was a god in ancient myth, a symbol of war, a red mystery glowing in the night sky. We wrote stories about it, named our fears after it, and wondered what secrets it held. But somewhere along the way, that distant orb stopped being legend and started becoming a destination. Now, that dream has a timeline. Not a century from now, not even decades. Elon Musk and SpaceX have set their sights on Mars by 2026, and suddenly the impossible feels dangerously close. Starship, the towering stainless steel vessel being built and tested in the desert, isn't just a machine, it's a declaration. Not of what we can do, but what we will. This timeline isn't about setting a date, it's about setting a mindset. It's the pressure cooker of ambition. Because nothing motivates action like a clock that's already ticking. And when you look at history, every great leap, from the moon landing to the first flight, began with someone being bold enough to set an unreasonable goal. It's easy to be skeptical. The hurdles are real. Physics, finances, bureaucracy, even human biology. But look closer, and you'll see that the biggest obstacle is always the same, belief. Not just in science, but in ourselves. In the idea that we're capable of more than the world tells us is possible. This isn't just about a rocket to Mars. It's about the people who refuse to wait for permission. It's about the kind of mindset that rewrites limits and makes others rethink what's realistic. Because when someone dares to reach for another planet, they don't just raise the bar for technology, they raise the bar for humanity. So while SpaceX counts down to 2026, there's a bigger countdown happening in the background. Not to launch day, but to the moment we stop doubting what we're capable of. Because the mission to Mars isn't just about exploring the cosmos. It's about answering a question that lives in all of us. What's the boldest thing I'm willing to chase? And maybe, just maybe, the real launch isn't out there. It's here. Why Mars? Why now? Because history is shaped by those who dare to ask what's next and then chase it, relentlessly. From the moment early humans crossed oceans and scaled mountains, the call of the unknown has never stopped echoing in our bones. Carl Sagan once said, We began as wanderers, and we are wanderers still. Mars isn't just a red dot in the sky, it's humanity's next great leap. Not because it's easy, not even because it's necessary today, but because if we wait until it is, it'll be too late. To survive, to thrive, to evolve, we must think beyond Earth. Mars represents more than ambition. It's an insurance policy for our species, a bold step toward a multi-planetary future. Stephen Hawking warned us that if humanity wants to avoid extinction, we must look beyond our cradle. And now, for the first time, someone's not just looking, he's building. That someone is Elon Musk, the man who took on banking with PayPal, shattered the auto industry with Tesla, and dared to privatize space with SpaceX. But it's not just his success that defines him, it's his relationship with failure. Rockets have exploded, deadlines have slipped, critics have mocked. But Musk leans into failure like a forge, using each setback to refine the vision. Failure is an option here, he says, if things are not failing, you are not innovating enough. What sets Musk apart isn't genius, it's grit. The unshakable tenacity to stare down impossibility and keep going. While the world waits for proof, he builds it. That's the audacity of vision. And that's why Mars isn't a fantasy. It's a work in progress. Because the future doesn't arrive fully formed, it's dragged into existence by the relentless. It sounds reckless. It sounds unrealistic. But that's exactly the point. The timeline to Mars isn't a passive prediction. It's an intentional pressure cooker, engineered to compress decades of progress into a few relentless years. Starship itself is a marvel. Fully reusable, capable of carrying over 100 metric tons, designed not just to reach orbit, but to return, refuel, and go again. It's not just a rocket. It's the future of space travel, 
designed to bring the cost down and the dream within reach. This pace isn't magic, it's exponential thinking in action. Just like Moore's Law reshaped computing, focused innovation is accelerating material science, AI integration, and manufacturing at speeds we once thought impossible. Musk understands that deadlines don't just measure progress, they create it. A crazy timeline forces urgency, creativity, and alignment. It turns a company into a mission. That's not pressure, it's fuel. And we've seen this playbook before. In 1961, President John F. Kennedy announced that America would put a man on the moon before the decade was out. At that moment, NASA hadn't yet mastered orbital rendezvous. But the goal wasn't just about space, it was about belief. We choose to go to the moon, not because it is easy, but because it is hard, Kennedy declared. That single line moved a nation, and it worked. Fast forward, and the Mars deadline feels the same, absurd until it isn't. Tony Robbins often says, raise your standards and your life will rise with them. That's what this is. It's not about whether 2026 is precisely the year. It's about setting a goal so big it forces evolution. The kind of goal that says, why not us? Why not now? That's the real secret. Impossible isn't a limit, it's a challenge. And timelines like this don't just reshape industries, they redefine what humanity believes it's capable of. Let's be clear, reaching Mars isn't just bold, it's brutal. Every step toward the red planet drags with it a storm of complexity, unfathomable engineering challenges, sky-high financial risks, endless regulatory mazes, and the harshest physiological demands ever placed on the human body. This isn't a smooth runway, it's an asteroid field. And yet, the rockets are still being built. Naturally, the voices of doubt grow louder with every launch. Critics scoff, experts warn, and skeptics raise brows. They point to the budget, the risk, the untested life support systems, the long radiation exposure, and they're not wrong, but they're not daring either. Because as Winston Churchill once said, success is not final, failure is not fatal, it is the courage to continue that counts. What separates the visionaries from the bystanders isn't certainty, it's mindset. Most people see the wall and stop. Pioneers see the cracks and start chiseling. They ask, what if it can be done? While others say, what if it can't? Elon Musk and teams like his aren't ignoring the obstacles. They're obsessed with solving them. Because the truth is, the limits we accept shape the future we never reach. The Mars mission isn't about escaping reality. It's about rewriting it. Not despite the challenges, but because of them. The ones who will shape tomorrow aren't the ones who wait for conditions to be perfect. They're the ones who fly through the asteroid field and figure it out mid-flight. This mission to Mars isn't just about one man or one company. It's about all of us. Because every great leap forward creates waves, ripples that reshape generations. Just like Apollo inspired the children of the 60s to become the scientists, inventors, and dreamers of today, Mars is lighting a new fire. A new space race is forming, not driven by governments, but by ambition. And around the world, young minds are watching rockets rise and saying, what if I could build the next one? That's the hidden magic of vision, it multiplies. Elon Musk's dream may seem too big, too bold, too far, but that dream becomes a mirror. It reflects our own possibilities back at us. And when leaders dare to chase the unimaginable, others begin to imagine more too. But there's more than inspiration. There's innovation. Technologies designed for interplanetary survival, life support systems, radiation shields, sustainable habitats, are already shaping how we live here on Earth. Clean energy, advanced materials, medical devices, even how we grow food. Space exploration doesn't just push boundaries, it redefines them. What starts as a rocket ends as a revolution in how we live, learn, and thrive. And perhaps most powerfully, there's a lesson tucked within this cosmic dream, a lesson not about space, but about self. Mars isn't just a destination, it's a metaphor for the human spirit, the courage to dream wildly, the grit to endure setbacks, 
the obsession with progress, not perfection. The ability to break down impossible steps and just start. Oprah once said, the biggest adventure you can take is to live the life of your dreams. Musk just chose a bigger playground. But the mindset? That's yours to claim. You may not build a spaceship, but you can build a future. Boldly, relentlessly, fearlessly. The year 2026, etched not as a prediction, but as a provocation. It isn't just a date on a launch manifest. It's a dare, a crucible, a line in the sand where human imagination meets relentless execution. In declaring a Mars mission by then, Elon Musk isn't just aiming for another celestial body. He's attempting the impossible, to bottle a river, to take the raging, relentless flow of human ambition, innovation, and willpower and channel it into a single vessel called Starship. But rivers don't wait. They move, with or without permission. And whether that launch happens in 2026 or drifts into the years beyond, the current has already shifted. The dam has broken. A future that once felt like science fiction now pulses through labs, factories, and mission control centers. The course has been set, and humanity is being pulled toward a new horizon not gently, but with the raw force of vision turned into velocity. Because just like a river, the human spirit refuses to be boxed in. It finds cracks, it wears down walls, it carves new paths when old ones vanish. Mars may be the destination, but the real journey is here, on Earth, inside us. And if we choose to move with that current, relentlessly, unapologetically, we don't just watch history, we make it.